Just what is LULUCF? It is land use, land use change, and forestry. Let's look at these three terms. Land use is what people do to a land. They turn lands into fields and pastures for their farm animals and build settlements for houses, offices, and factories. Land use change happens when man turns forests into agricultural land. Forestry is, of course, forest land. United Nations Climate Change Secretariat defined LULUCF as a greenhouse gas inventory sector that covers emissions and removals of greenhouse gases resulting from direct human-induced land use, land use change, and forestry activities. Simply put, it is about gases in our air. It is about carbon dioxide gas. Our activities on land, our plantations, and our forests are all related in emitting and removing carbon. Trees and plants absorb carbon dioxide. As forests are able to remove carbon, they are called carbon sinks. But when people cut down trees for various reasons, carbon dioxide is released from these trees. If more carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere, it increases the level of greenhouse gases resulting in global warming. This would be bad for the environment. Plantation tree crops are also carbon sinks as they also absorb carbon. So, when economic activities emit carbon, forest and plantation tree crops remove them. In Malaysia, oil palm plantations are plantation crops. They are able to remove carbon. Oil palm plantations can also emit carbon from deforestation and effluent ponds at palm oil mills. But more importantly, they are able to remove more than they emit. In the year 2000, Malaysia had 3.376 million hectares of oil palm plantations. 35.5 million tons of carbon dioxide was emitted from LULUCF and the agricultural sector. But amazingly, oil palm plantations removed 82 million tons of carbon in the atmosphere. They removed all of their carbon emission as well as carbon from land use change and other agricultural activities. They worked with forests to remove all carbon from the energy sector as well, making Malaysia a negative net emitter of carbon. Over the years, oil palm plantations were still removing more carbon than they emitted until the year 2007. In the year 2007, there was an increased use of fossil fuel in energy and transport sectors. LULUCF and agriculture emitted only 26.9 million tons of carbon, declining substantially from the year 2000. They successfully removed all of their carbon emission as well as carbon from land use change and other agricultural activities. Oil palm plantations alone could remove an incredible 100 million tons of carbon emission. Even with such high carbon removal capacity, the forest and oil palm plantations could not remove the carbon emission entirely because of the growing energy sector. Malaysia net national carbon emission was 45.9 million tons, a relatively small figure by international standards. Malaysia accounts for 0.4% of the world population and emits only 0.15% of the global total greenhouse gas emissions. America, with 4% of the world population, emits a staggering 17% of the global total greenhouse gas emissions. Which points to a logical conclusion. It makes sense to have oil palm plantations. For Malaysia may be small in size, but we are definitely big on environment.